Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Look, we're on the penultimate episode, it's issue 99 of Diego Stini's Build Your Own R2-D2. As you can see, I've got my uh, Christmas shirt on because we're in December now. But before I get cracking on the uh, R2-D2, I just want to do a big shout out to Vince Steele. Uh, he's just done this new caricature of me, which you're probably going to see everywhere all over my channel. Uh, and I'll put a web address down the bottom because if you want to throw some business his way and you want a caricature of yourself, he'll give you prices and stuff like that. Check out his site because these are amazing. He's one of the best... Uh, cartoonist I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I absolutely love his work. So uh, thank you so much for that, Vince. Can you believe one more issue and we're completed? And look, that's all we've got coming in the next issue, which is charger, some plugs and some wires. So we can't actually show this thing operating until issue 100 because we've got more wires to plug into it. Uh, but we haven't really got much in this issue. Let me just show you what we have got. Uh, we've got a nice little thing saying, this is your last chance to get binders and back issues uh, before I guess they start uh, selling this as a... Um, uh, one whole pack sort of thing for 899 or something like that. Let's just see what we've got to do. Not a lot in this issue, to be honest with you. Uh, all we've got to do is put this uh, little uh, PCB board in, uh, attach it to the uh, dome there, which is why, as you can see, R2 hasn't got a head over there. Um, and once it's attached, we're just going to connect the camera uh, that we put in a couple of issues ago and the microphone lead. That is absolutely it. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, as you can see, we've got a box. What's in the box? I'm glad you asked that. Okay, so let's open it up and see what we've got in here. Now, in here, we've got the PCB board, which is going to be going into the dome there. So we'll get this open. Um, now, they do warn you about the risks of static. Now, I'm sure we are long gone from the days of thick pile carpet and plastic shoes. Um, so it shouldn't really matter. And the electrics, the way they're built nowadays, you shouldn't really be having to worry about it. Uh, but, you know, for the sake of, uh, you know, being safe, as you can see, my table here, I don't know if you've seen, has got a metal rim, which I've earthed. So I touch this just before uh, I touch anything, just in case. Uh, okay, all we've got to do with this is take the top off and it's going to expose to us. Ugh, there we go the board there and as you can see we've got the aerial here which is going to be for uh, wireless control we've got this little bit here which is where the camera is going to go I'll show you on that one there and then we've got the microphone socket which I believe is one of these ones down here uh, but what might be worth doing before we actually put it in and do any instructions is we just need to lift this little black flap up ready to accept the camera and you can do that with your finger it just goes up like that can you see that okay and then when we put the camera in, we'll just be putting it back down again. But I'm going to leave it up. So when I put the camera in, all I've got to do is push it back down again. Uh, we're going to need some parts from the last issue, which I'm just bringing up here. We don't need these little clips. They're going to be for later. We don't need the old lens. Uh, but we do need those brackets. In addition to these brackets, which are pretty much similar. As a matter of fact, they're exactly similar. Uh, we're going to need some screws. And the screws we need, two uh, six mil flange screws. That's the ones with the flange on the top, just looking like that. And we're just going to need four of exactly the same size but without the flange <laughs> looking like that okay so when we're ready to go step six we're just going to take one of these screws and we're going to be putting this over the bit where you've got the wireless antenna there sure you can see this on one of the cameras just line it up and get one of your uh, six mil flange screws there and put that in just like this now if you noticed i haven't touched the motherboard once yet apart from just doing the uh open it in the little flap for the ribbon cable to go in for the camera but uh, i haven't touched anything else and that that's still up so you see that uh, next one we're going to be putting in this one just at the side here now the one at the side here goes in at a sort of angle they've got it going in sort of like this but these are able to turn because they're only being held in by one screw uh, we're going to need that because when we actually put it in the dome it's going to need to have that just put this in it's going to need to have that sort of movability so we can actually line it up properly uh with the top of the things but you don't have to put it in too much but there we go i've got it looking just like that and then what we're going to do i'm going to put these screws to one side we're going to bring the dome across now and i'm going to show you where this is going to go now as you can see here from the dome we've got the microphone cable here and just going underneath this bit of frame here i've got the camera here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave that out just over here for a second because this is going to mount sort of like underneath here and it's going to attach to these holes here and here. So let's put that in and I'll show you what that looks like. 
Okay, now before I put that in, I've kept this one loose. I can tighten that up afterwards because it's gonna aid when we line this up to the uh, dome there. Uh, and I've also made sure some of these wires are out of the way. I've made sure the camera wire's out of the way here and the microphone wire is also just sort of like hanging there so I can get it whenever I need it, if I put it to probably that side there. Because the way this is gonna go, it's gonna go in just like this, probably best on the top camera this is. Try not to uh, touch the motherboard. Make sure you can still get to the uh, microphone cable. I'm just going to leave that over there for a minute. And then probably best to line up one of these holes. Uh, let's see which one's probably going to be best. If I line up the one on this side first, just there, and we put this in with one of these 6mm screws, which are unflanged. So I'll just get that started there. There we go. And then we'll get this screwed in. There we go, we've got one screw in just like that. I hope you can see that fine on the camera there. Now I'm making sure the microphone wire is just coming out the back of the board here because when we put plug this in, it's going to be plugged into this port just here. So we see the microphone wires off there. So make sure that the next one's lined up, get another screw, and we'll screw it in this side as well. Just like this. Gonna put it up with my hands. There we go. And that's going in perfectly. Sorry, my hands are in the way here. I hope one of the cameras can put it out. Now I'm starting to put them in nice and tight. I'm gonna tighten this screw up down here. I loosen just to give it some uh, little bit of play so I can line it up with those holes. I've got two more screws to put in. This one here. See, nice quick issue because once we've done this, all we've got to do is plug in the uh, two wires, one from the camera and one for the mic. So this is the last one. Perfecto. Okay, so we've got the camera wire, which we've already put the flap up for that. I'm probably gonna show you on this uh, close-up camera now. We need to pass the camera underneath the frame here, just like that, and then we need to plug the ribbon into this unit here and then put the thing down. So this is gonna be a bit tricky, but I'm gonna line it up. You gotta sort of like push it in, so. I'm sort of like underneath it so I can grab it. There we go, and when that's pushed in, it should look just like that. Bit fiddly that was, but that one's in. And then the only other thing we've got to do is we've just got to plug in the microphone cable into this port just here. And the microphone cable is sort of like in the direction it needs to be. So it's just a case of turning it over, making sure it's in the right way, and then just pushing it in. And that's gone in really easy. And that, if you see a close up there, is all we have to do of that. That is that issue complete. And then, Next issue, issue 100, is coming this week. Now, issue 100 is probably gonna be here Wednesday, but you probably won't get a video until Monday. And the reason for that is because obviously I wanna charge the thing when I put the batteries in, but I wanna make a montage of the thing working. So uh, I don't wanna rush it for the last issue. So I guarantee from probably Wednesday onwards, you're gonna see working ones on the Facebook group. But um, you'll have to wait a little bit longer for me because I wanna make sure it's just right when we turn it on. Uh, what do you think of that though? Coming to an end. I can't believe this week is the last week for R2-D2. Getting emotional already now and it's not even the last one. But there you go, that was that issue. Um, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, there is a little subscription, little branding watermark down here, or just click the subscribe on my channel. Uh, also, if you want something else to do to whet your appetite, I'm gonna put a link at the end for Paint, paint, paint with Penny's site, uh, where she's building uh, a full-size R2-D2 with a 3D printer. So uh, go and check that out, that's all good. Uh, but until next week, probably, on Monday, Issue 100, it's coming. I hope you like that video. Take care.